Hello there! What is going on everyone? We have something very cool to look at today. We're going to be looking at some of the brand new luxury playstyle tokens compatible with Star Wars Legion. These are our ionized, our observed tokens, our immobilized, and our poisoned tokens. These are absolutely fantastic and a great supplement to their already stellar line of tokens that are available from luxury playstyle compatible with Star Wars Legion. If you guys are interested and if you like what you see here, uh, you can save 15% over at LuxuryPlaystyle.com. You can just use code VIP. That's going to save you 15%. And you'll definitely want to do that. That lets them know that you heard about them from me. And also, it is, uh, it's good for the channel. You know, they've been a longtime sponsor of the channel. So I want to thank Luxury Playstyle for, for helping out the channel and for sponsoring this video. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't be... Uh, you know, I wouldn't be even working with them if I didn't love their product, and I absolutely do. Uh, I've been a huge fan of theirs from day one, and so it's just, it's really, really cool getting to be able to show you guys these tokens. They are lovely. Also, we are doing giveaways still. We're doing a, another giveaway right now. It's a uh, $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. If you want to enter to win that, just like any of my other giveaways, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. So well, we're going to be looking at we, we've got uh, we got several tokens here and we've got in, in multiple different finishes. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to be looking at our ionized token. Uh, now this one is magnificent and we've got like little sparkly bits there in the center uh, okay, that really kind of make it pop. Um, and I love that you've got that that kind of enamel blue and white uh, along with like a little bit of a um, black border here and then you've got some of these like almost diamondy sky blue uh effects going on on the outsides and on also on the inside um so very cool stuff going on with this token uh when we flip this one over we're going to also see the observed token uh these are becoming so popular in the game now as characters like moth gideon hand out free observes every single time he activates which is so cool having a free action uh for something like that uh, so a very cool thing, and I think these are just these are one of those tokens that were relatively newer to the game uh, that have just been kind of taking the game by storm. There's so many more ways to get observed tokens out there now uh, that uh, I am really loving this, and I think this really captures the observe uh, the observe token uh, and is is very immediately recognizable as well as are both of these. Um, well, as are all four really. Uh, so uh, also another thing that's really cool about this is I love that in like the very center, uh, we're getting that that central kind of glittery. I'm moving it around just to show you guys how it captures the light. It's really magnificent um, how, how just how sparkly and, and beautiful, like how this enhances your table presence. It is something else. Uh, and of course, it kind of captures that look of a of like a droid eye kind of watching you and capturing your movements and getting ready for those extra dice rerolls that are coming your way. Um, really nice token. Now, like all of the tokens uh, that are, these are available in two different finishes. So uh, this shinier one is going to be the prize silver. Uh, and this has a more of a shinier finish. And if you want a little bit less shiny and a little bit more subdued, uh, we have the antiqued uh, silver here, which is the brushed alloy. So if you want, if you were curious about the difference between uh, brushed alloy and the prize silver, we've got brushed alloy here and prize silver here on the right. Um, and so uh, they still both capture the light. Uh, some folks might just prefer a little bit more shiny, and some folks might prefer a little bit more of that, almost like a gunmetal uh, kind of antiqued, uh, a little bit less uh, glossy, but uh, but a little bit more. Um, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe mechanical, maybe like maybe we're more for a droid army. Uh, you know, that's that's seen a lot of combat, and this might be a little bit more. Um, you know, for the flair. You know, depending on what you like. You know, you got different options for that. Um, but yeah, these are these are absolutely gorgeous. And regardless of the finish, you're still getting the same paint applications on your tokens, uh, and it's still the same dimensions and all of that. It all really kind of boils down to, and I think it's most evident on the sides of the tokens. And it's going to def depend also on like your lighting too, and where the, the different types of places that you play, because the light can kind of hit these slightly differently. Uh, you know, I, I I really I like them both. Um, generally, I think I kind of prefer. Uh, the, the, the brushed, uh, the brushed alloy for the antique silver. I'm, I'm, you know, sometimes I'm a bigger fan of this, but I think it does depend on 
uh, on the list. You know, like if I'm running like C3PO, he's gonna like a little bit shinier, right? Maybe I want different types of tokens to reflect the, the different types of list. And again, these are all double-sided. So while I have them laid down here, you can, you know, you can use like maybe maybe you're running a little bit more ion heavy list. Boom, you get like extra uh, extra ability ability and versatility uh, for your tokens. Or if I'm running an observe heavy list, I can totally uh, flip those over like so. Very cool stuff. Next up, we are going to look at our poisoned and immobilized tokens. So let's start off with the poisoned token. Uh, this one is incredible. It is, uh, it just really captures the poison look. It is easily identifiable. Uh, almost has kind of like a biohazard sort of inspired uh, look going on in the front there. And we've got uh, we got some of the shiny orange bits here to kind of to sparkle a little bit uh, and, and make that yellow kind of stand out a little bit more with some of the uh, contrast with the surrounding colors. Uh, another thing that's really cool is they have the, uh, in the very, very center, they did do have that luxury play style logo right there in the center of that token as well, which is exceptional. And look, look how it captures the light right there. I, I, I love these tokens, right? Like I'm not using any post-processing effects here. I'm just, just moving it just ever so slightly. It's just, it's just really, really nice. Uh, as I flip it around, uh, you're seeing the immobilize token on this side. Uh, very, very much more popular than it used to be. Once upon a time, it used to be just like Boba Fett that could immobilize you with that little whipcord launcher. And, and now, all of a sudden, we're seeing more and more units that are able to lock down Jedi. Cad Bane can do it. Pikes can do it with those little whips. The Magna Guards uh, can do it. So immobilizes becoming more and more of a thing. Sometimes you'll do it to yourself if you run force speed, uh, burst of speed rather. You know, you, you burn out and then you have to slow down a little bit. Uh, and so these are really great for being able to do that. Uh, so depending on your list, right, you might need a little more poison tokens. Hey, I'm running Bosk, and uh, you know maybe I don't need to mobilize this this game, but I definitely need some poison counters to put those out there. Or maybe I'm running, oh, I'm running those B1s, and uh, you know, very very cool stuff. So you're having getting a lot of flexibility with these. Um, looking at both versions, we've got our sh uh, our, our shiny uh, the prize silver here, uh, and then we've got. Again, our, uh, our brushed alloy here uh, on the right this time. So it kind of flip-flopped the sides uh, and you can see which versions you look at. Let's take a closer look at the brushed alloy uh, version here. And uh, again, you're still getting the same paint applications. I'm loving like the sparkly bits in these and the way the light catches. It's just, it's really, I mean like, it, so, and, and again, in, in photos, it doesn't always showcase this, right? And so it's really cool to just to see this being moved around the way the light catches all of the, the spectacular work that goes into these tokens. They're absolutely amazing and I love them. Um, I also want to show you guys some of the other tokens that are available already. Um, if you weren't already aware, uh, if you, you know, if you haven't heard me talk about them, let's, let's showcase some of the other ones. All right, so first, let's, uh, you guys have probably seen these in my battle reports. Uh, we're going to talk about our aims and dodge tokens first. Uh, first up is the aim. This one is gorgeous. It has got a lot of the sparkly effect with the green. Uh, we have the regular uh, green in the center as, long, as well as the, um, the different shades of green. Uh, that are going around and some with the effect some without we've got white and black in there really kind of capturing the look of the aim token but adding to it so much more uh, it's easily identifiable and of course you're going to use lots of aims in your games some more some factions even more so than others this is double-sided and has the uh, standby on the back uh, some Factions use a little bit less standbys, and some factions use a little bit more standbys. So depending on your list, uh, this makes for a great double-sided token and is a really uh, just a beautiful one. Uh, over here, we've got the Dodge token, kind of giving you that hex look that the Dodges have. Uh, again, Dodges are becoming more and more popular in the games ever since the Pikes. Hopefully, Vigilance will bring down a little bit of the uh, the Dodge abuse and bring Dodges back from like needing a thousand of them back uh, back down to normal numbers. Uh, but dodges are more popular than ever right now. On the back of the dodges, we have the Surge token. Uh, Surge came out with the Clone Wars and is a very popular token, especially amongst Clone Wars factions. But Surge tokens have made their way into the other factions as well. 
And of course, we got that very recognizable bolt, that lightning bolt symbol kind of going right down the middle. Um, and uh, again, this, these can be searched for attack or defense. And that was certainly inspired both the shield and the kind of uh, starburst behind the shield. Very cool stuff. Dodge and Surge both there. Uh, we have our awesome damage and suppression tokens uh, as well. Now, the what's so great about these and what makes, I think, these stand out from all of the other damage and uh, suppression type tokens out there, because they, they count, you know, one damage, one suppression. Um, you know, Legion also has the threes. And, and, and sometimes it gets a little cumbersome when you go from two to three because you have to pick up two tokens and put one down. Uh, and then, oh, if you recovered, then you have to pick that one up and then put two more down or whatever. Um, you know, it, it, and that these are intervals of two. And so when I flip these over, I've got a two on the back. And so any, so when you take damage, if I take a second damage, I just have to flip it over. Uh, and then if I take another damage, I just put one more token down. And if I take another one, I just have to flip that one over. If I heal one, I just have to flip it over. You know, and so it makes it so much easier. It's 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 it, while the token is a little on the larger side, it ends up being less real estate because you only have to have you know half as many tokens typically uh, you know on the tabletop, and it's just magnificent. Uh, and the exact same principle was applied to suppression. This one really really helps. Some units are just getting more and more suppression now, and now as we're getting new Legion rules soon, and panic rules are going to be changing. I have a feeling. We're going to see even more suppression-based lists uh, really trying to, to, to do what they're able to do and, and put out more and more suppression tokens. And it becomes easier than ever to increase your suppression when you just have to flip it over. And now all of a sudden you have two. Oh, at the end of the round, do I re remove one? Boom, I just flip it over. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Love, love, love that. Um, something slightly different from the X-Wing line, because again, Luxury Playstyle also has X-Wing tokens. I, I, I'm currently using these right now because you can use you can use other Luxury Playstyle tokens in, in various different games. They make they make stuff for other games as well. Uh, you know, uh, but for shields, uh, I love it for like Sabine or Droidicas or, or or what have you. Any unit that's shielded, they're double sided as well. And one side represents the exhausted side. One side represents their recharged and ready to go. I just thought that that was kind of cool. I wanted to showcase those as well. Um, uh, and I love it. Uh, and then of course the order tokens, the order tokens are so spectacularly beautiful. I really, really love the order tokens. They are something to behold. Uh, they have this, just this awesome starburst kind of pattern. And, uh, there is this beautiful glitter ring on the outer edge. And also, there's, there's a little bit of that applied in the very inner circle, too, that you can almost barely see uh, if you look very close. Uh, they really make an amazing table presence. Uh, then, of course, on the uh, inside of these, uh, we have our different uh, rank patterns. We've got a special forces here, a core here. Uh, these are just really spectacular. And photos don't do them enough justice. I had to move them around a little bit. Uh, what's great about these is they also come with protectors. Uh, you know, you can, uh, I, there's also the red set available as well, and you can get yours in the, in the coin protectors. Uh, and these keep them now. I mean, they're, they're mostly flat to the touch. Uh, so you can, you can play with them, uh, in the coin protectors, you can play with them out of the coin protectors. Sometimes I will, uh, you know, if I'm not playing in a in a tournament, uh, sometimes I'll just put stuff on the table and then shuffle them around, move them around because it, on a on a play mat like this, it's not going to scratch. So uh, so I, I definitely like sometimes just taking them out and having them look even prettier. And then other times uh, I'll, I'll I'll play with them in the uh, in the coin protectors. So you have great options, and the coin protectors still you can still see all that glitter even through. The uh, you know the plastic of the coin protector, really cool stuff, uh, and those and those are really easily replaceable too. So if you wanna uh, you know if you wanna take them out or put them back in, you can do that as well. Uh, but these are all available over on luxuryplaystyle.com. You can use code CrabbuckVIP again to save fifteen percent. Uh, and again, if you're looking to get more, like maybe like you know what I hey dark troopers are coming out, I you know and I've got my whole set already, but now I need even more. You don't have to buy a whole another set. You can just get the extra tokens that you're going to need. Like maybe you hey I want to run triple dark trooper and maybe I'm going to need two more or or four more heavies uh, to make that happen. You can just go order and you know add them on, do add-ons individually, and this way you don't have to buy like it doesn't make 
your whole existing set of tokens obsolete uh, when like a new battle force comes out or something like that, which is a really, really great way to protect your investment with stuff like this is the fact that you can add to it and also protect them with the coin protectors. Very, very cool stuff. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank Luxury Playstyle for being, again, a longtime sponsor of the channel and helping bring this video to you guys. Big thanks also to my patrons. You guys are absolutely out of this world and help make this channel possible. So thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you guys later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Don't forget to use code CRABLOCKVIP. These tokens are stellar. You're going to love them. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.